Now on Good Day, it is a no school day for many across town. We continue our coverage as we keep an eye on the icy road conditions. Winds picking up this morning, but we are going to stay sunny through the weekend. Sherry has those details in her Weather Now forecast. The Valley's News Leader starts right now. Now, live, this is 8 News Now, Good Day. And a good Friday morning to you. Thank you for waking up with us. I'm Kirsten Joyce. I'm John Langler. We're going to continue our coverage this morning of the snow and the ice conditions across the valley. Clark County School District closed. Private schools across the valley also closed today. Here are the school closings, some of them. Somerset Academy, uh, Mountain View Christian, Faith Lutheran, CSN classes canceled that begin before 10 a.m. Here's another look at some schools as well that are closed because of the snow and icy weather conditions that we are expecting today across town. Bishop Gorman also canceled today. As for those delayed, uh, Nevada State College classes are delayed until 10 a.m. UNLV will have a delayed start time of 10 a.m. And Governor Steve Sisolak has ordered a delay for government offices for the state. They will open at 10 a.m. You can check our website, which is lasvegasnow.com, for all the closures and delays. For anyone still looking for somewhere to take your kids for the day, the city of Las Vegas has three community centers. There is the East Las Vegas Community Center, Mirabelli, and Veterans Memorial. Memorial. All are open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and it is $20 per child. Because the schools are closed, many of the Boys and Girls Clubs will be open today. Lee, James Reynolds, Kish, Southern Highlands, Gone, and Agassiz, they're all open today. All other clubs, though, will be closed. So, our weather coverage continues. We have Nate and Sherry and Hector all looking at the conditions around the valley. We're going to start with Sherry. Sherry, are we going to see any more winter snow today? Uh, I think we've seen the tail end of this system and it is Move it away, Nate. Yes, let's move right over to the weather wall so you can see that skies are really starting to clear out and some changes that have developed in the overnight hours, and that is in the form of some drying northerly winds. Now, that's good news for our icy roads that we were expecting because that's helping to dry out the air. And, uh, and it's also helping to dry out the roads. Uh, the air has really changed a lot. Moisture content has really been escaping and uh, we've been seeing very drying conditions with the help of 15 to 20 to 25 mile an hour winds overnight. It's also keeping temperatures from dropping to freezing. Most Valley neighborhoods are hovering just a couple of three degrees above freezing. Couple are, are close and right in there. Green Valley at 32, Nellis is at 34. Summerlin, you're right at 34 degrees. Uh, Aliante at 36. So areas where we've had very heavy snowfall uh, in the last 24 to 36 hours, uh, we're looking at, uh, well, you've still got quite a bit of snow on the ground. A lot of it's been played in and um, removed, but there are other icy spots where there was a lot of moisture left over. But this will help through the day to get those drying northerly winds. We saw some residual snow showers in the afternoon and evening that moved all the way down to Prim, and now that's kind of scooted off into Arizona. So we'll have have some uh, ice. We'll have icy start in some patchy areas, then breezy, cool conditions through the day. My goodness, keep the jacket around. We'll only make it into the upper 40s, but we'll have some nice sunshine. 532. Let's get to those problem spots. Kind of foggy out there. Nate? Yes, you're absolutely right, and that is a huge problem for drivers uh, trying to get in or out of Nevada and California at Prim, although I don't know if it's an improvement because you couldn't even get into California from Nevada on the I-15 through the overnight hours because of crash, ice-related crashes involving big rig trucks on the other side of the California state line in Nevada. But here we are with visibility, a huge problem on I-15 at Prim. Now the freeway is open in all directions. Here in in town, we thought we'd have some problems with ice along the west side. Haven't heard of anything. We'll hear from Hector Mejia in just a second. Real quickly, they are clearing a crash for you northbound on the 95 515 around College Drive, but we do have our first ice related closure, and this is the on or off ramps to get onto the 95 515 to or from Wagon Wheel. Now, the freeway is open, uh, but ice has closed those ramps. So, with all that leftover snow, we really think it could be a tricky commute, commute for some parts of the valley. Hector is up in the northwest there at the 215 and Summerlin Parkway. Hector? 
Hey there, Nate, and we are also finding some black ice, some sheets of that ice here at this off ramp. We are just at the 215 southbound by Summerlin Parkway, where, as you can see in the middle of the, your screen, that glazed over green colored or now red colored dark spot you see there, that is actually ice. And as you mentioned, down in Henderson, ice also closed the on and off ramps between Wagon Wheel and the 95 515. So it is and could create a tricky commute for drivers. This morning and yesterday, conditions were so bad along the I 15 that they shut down the highway over down to Prim and Baker. California Highway Patrol also worked an injury wreck involving semi trucks on the I 15. And leftover snow this morning could create some problems. We're actually already seeing those problems already this morning. So if you find yourself in a slick commute this morning, it boils down to just staying calm and taking it slow. AAA recommends increasing your following distance to about five to six seconds. And if you encounter black ice, don't overreact or slam on the brakes. And remember that it takes longer for you to uh, for you to uh, slow down in icy roads. And out here, back out here live up here in Summerlin, it's quite windy. So remember, it's you know even though we don't have any snow, it's still windy and dress for this cold, cold, cold weather. Anyway, we'll we'll stay on top of the road conditions throughout the valley. We'll have another update ahead in half an hour. Reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now. All right, Hector, go and get warm, would you there please? You know. 535 right now. So uh, many flights coming in and out of McCarran are now running on time after the snow and the madness yesterday at McCarran, but there are some flights canceled, many of them in fact. Please, before you head to McCarran this morning, check with your airline on your flight status. And keep it here on Channel 8 as we continue our coverage with the icy conditions. Sherry and Nate will have more weather and traffic updates throughout the hour. You can also go to our website, lasvegasnow.com, to check on school closures.